We'll hit record. Yes, yes. Okay. So we'll use our developmental movements once again for our warm up. So if you want to take your space. Oh, and we'll get some music going again. And once you are in your space, you can start in any shape that feels like a good place to start in today. This might be a very familiar song for some of you. All right, so start in your space, noticing your breath. There's no need to change it, no need to fix it. Just taking that information in. Maybe you notice a little sway, kind of a small dance of the body, small dance coming from Steve Paxson's improv work, contact improv work. And maybe it's helpful to have a little tactile in here. So hands can be on your torso. Hands can be on your torso. Maybe noticing the breath move underneath them. You're feeling a little groggy this morning. Maybe it's a really big inhale. Maybe you yawn. you're feeling a little more of that anxiety and stress of life as we know it right now, maybe it's a longer exhale. And when you're ready, taking some full body movement, how big can you be? How small can you be? And moving in your own way. Moving as you need to this morning. As big as you are, and then as small as you can be. And expanding out. Maybe the breath is joining you. And curling in, continue at your own pace. If you start to bring your focus away from the screen. As you're exploring this expansion and contraction, core distal, maybe there's a specific shape that feels nice to hang out in. Maybe you notice today that you really enjoy taking up a lot of space. Maybe you really enjoy taking up very little space today. Maybe there's some place in between that feels really nice. And from core to still whole body movement, bring it into the spine. Head tail connection, head to spine connection. How can the spine move you right now? You could add some twists in if you feel the need for a little more energy. You could focus more on spinal roll downs if you want a little more of a calming energy. head tail think about the quadrant of the body just the upper half right now finding movement in the upper half maybe some pressure hands can press into each other or 
into the body. You might find that energizing. You might find that really centering. Also use it as a time to acknowledge the space that you are in, maybe pressing on a chair that's nearby or a cushion or a table. The way to realize where your boundaries are physically today. Shift to the lower body. Just the lower body. And again, you can find that push. Maybe really start to get some traveling in. The rest of the body is along for the ride. from upper lower going right and left body half. So finding symmetry on just one half of the body at a time. Maybe the left half expands out as the right side contracts. Vice versa. turns pop up as your body half. I think turning was popular in this group in a comfort zone, yeah? After exploring body half, we go to cross lateral. Walking at its simplest form. So you have opposite arm and leg, opposite quadrants doing the same thing. And I'm going to bring this into the brain dance a little bit more. We've basically been following it anyways. Last part of the brain dance is to purposely take yourself off center, then regain balance. We talked about balance last week. So purposely send yourself off balance and then regain it. And notice what comes up for you as you do this. next 15 seconds to find your ending. Any other movement that you need? Any other movement that you want? Just finding your ending in five, four, three, two, and one. All right, how are we feeling? Jazz hands like down low to up high and like, yeah. Feeling okay, feeling better, feeling ready. Doing all right, okay. So let's pick up where we left off last week and do some dance prompt jar um, prompts. That's redundant. Um, um, we'll stop recording. So now you have this as a, a warm up um, that you have access to.